Hey, <laughs> Sarah from Lost in Reviews. Pleasure to sit down and talk with you about a good time for a good time call. Um, I was wondering, you both um, kind of have different backgrounds leading up to this. You, I read, was it was in a fashion the Fashion Institute of a Technology in New York City. Yes. How did you get from there to where you are now? Oh boy. Well, when I was <laughs> when I was at FIT studying fashion design in, in New York was where I sort of first started acting a little bit and I was an extra in a few little movies and that was really funny and basically just during that time though it was just like this is what I this is what I want to do this is what I meant to do and so I I graduated from FIT and decided that um, I should learn how to support myself behind the camera when I don't get jobs in front of it and mm -hmm. so I went to film school and um, and did that whole thing and then moved to LA and was an assistant and then <laughs> wrote scripts and tried to get auditions for things and then when that wasn't going well I decided to make it happen for myself and we we made this movie and got amazing people involved, and mm -hmm. and here we are. You wrote the screenplay with another person mm -hmm. whose name is Katie, and yes. you're Lauren, so mm -hmm. everyone should recognize those character <laughs> names now. Um, what was it? You wrote scripts before this as mm -hmm. well. So what was different about this experience that made it actually work out? You know, I think this was the first story that was like so personal to us. Um, you know, the characters are Katie and Lauren, which is it's, it's I would say it's inspired by true events that Katie. Yeah, this is not their biopic. No, <laughs> this is not a biopic. This is not a documentary of phone sex. It's just you know, it's a story. Katie and I, when we met each other in college, we we were very very different people, just like Katie and Lauren in the movie. You know, and I'm a little bit more reserved, and she's a little bit more out there, and um, yeah. and so it was about telling that story and. Um, you know, and I'm getting off track. What was your original question? Um, <laughs> how, do you, how did this screenplay right. actually Right, and make so, it? so basically, you know, and we just sort of really felt like this is a story that we loved and that we wished we could see. You know, I think it's important for filmmakers, especially when you're starting out, to make a movie that you would want to see. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I had written other scripts that certainly I would like to see as well, but this story, because it, it's about female friendship and was so personal, it seemed like the right time to push and to get it made and to do it on our own and to you know tell that story that we really felt like people would appreciate. And this was an opportunity for Lauren to take a chance on herself and say, okay, it hasn't happened for me yet. This is the time to mm -hmm. do it. And that's what was so amazing about them bringing me on too. Because if they had made this in a studio world, you know, I've done a lot of movies yeah. and been around for a long time, but I wouldn't have <clears throat> been able to play this role in a studio movie either. You know, and so then they were able. To, to in an amazing way come and offer me this opportunity and mm -hmm. and we were all sort of able to say like all right we have a lot of stake in this yeah. let's try to make it happen and I read that you guys had very little research time you had a very short period where you had to get this all filmed so what mm -hmm. kind of research did you guys do obviously you probably knew the story very well but what kind of research did y'all do for this film well you know it was less about sort of research because <clears throat> as we said this is a really fun <clears throat> Excuse me, a really fun sort of light look at yeah. phone sex and you know the real Katie, you know, having done phone sex in mm -hmm. college, sort of brought her life experience to it. And you know, people say I have a sort of a sultry voice. <laughs> so that was there. And you know, it was the four of us worked really closely on the script and about sort of getting it in the best shape possible and 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 fit, you know, and just sort of like tightening it up and all of that. But but um but we sort of just went for it. Yeah, it was, it was just always about enter entertaining and making people laugh instead of like turning them on in like a really sexual way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Bridesmaids has kind of opened the arena up for female comedies? Definitely, yeah. I mean, you know, there was a huge movement, movement in the 80s about, you know, women uh, in comedy and, and, and stories yeah. about friendship. And, and, and that trend sort of, you know, I think film you know, genres, they go in waves and, and some things are really popular sometimes and, and less popular at other times. And I think that Bridesmaids has really sort of reawoken this, this yeah. female comedy about stories that aren't just about getting the guy. And it's, it's such an exciting time. And as someone who loves movies about women, I'm just so excited to get to watch more movies. Yeah. I, you know, the boy comedies, the bro comedies, you know, they're kind of raunchy, a little too much for a lot of girls, so I felt like this was a little, this was nice for us, but mm -hmm. at my screening, especially the very end scene, which I won't talk about, but the <laughs> whole audience, the male audience was like, oh, you know, you could tell, like, it was a totally different experience for them, because something like that would never happen in a right. bro comedy or a guy's comedy, so that was... It's it's unique to hear that because yeah. all the girls were like just laughing, but yeah. they were way disgusted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's ahead for you guys? 
just you know obviously making this the, you know the reason we made this movie like like we were saying was yeah. so that because we you know needed to make our own opportunities and obviously yeah. this has been so amazing and that it has opened up doors and now I do get to go on auditions mm -hmm. and and people will will talk about our scripts yeah. and so Katie and I are writing and you know and as an actor shooting a couple of things and yeah. it's exciting this one though has super exciting I'm gonna go do a play on Broadway called The Performers which I'm really thrilled about so yeah. that'll um, I think we open middle of November and I'll be doing that till end of February awesome um, can I just talk briefly about this you made this independently mm -hmm. and you went to Sundance how did focus come into this? Well, we screened, we premiered at Sundance, mm -hmm. and um, you know, which, which was just such an amazing, wonderful, crazy experience. And so, and it played really well, and the audience, you know, really enjoyed it, and we got the standing ovation, and it was so exciting. Oh, wow. And then, 24 hours later, focus showed up, and they were so into the film and seemed to really, um, really get what we were trying to say with it, you know. And they really seemed to be excited about it and want to be a part of it and so they came on board and, and now they're you know going to make sure that it's it's in theaters and that people get to see it it's, it's just such an honor to it's have a them it's big company they yeah. the films that they do literally we would you know we would, we would joke, joke about be it. Like, like oh maybe like focus <laughs> and they're like yeah when when focus buys our movie <laughs> i mean because their movies are crazy yeah so they don't like have some of the bad bad films. you know like broke back mountain for people yeah. that don't know broke back mountain and lost in translation and yeah. rice kingdom and mm -hmm. you know this is you, you want our movie yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, still yeah. every day pinching ourselves. Yeah, it's amazing. I, it's great. Um, can I just briefly talk to you, Ari, about your role in Nick and Nora's Impotent Play? Sure. <laughs> um, I love to talk to her about it too. <laughs> what I had to re-rent it before I came and saw or came and saw you guys just because that one scene with the bubble gum in oh the toilet yeah. is permanently imprinted on my mind. Oh no. <laughs> so, I mean, do you get recognized, what do you get recognized the most for? You know what's funny? The, the, me being recognized is sort of all across the board. Yeah. First of all, it's not, it's not all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> it's sort of infrequent, and when it is, sometimes it's that, sometimes it's Holy Rollers, sometimes it's Fringe, sometimes it's Whip It, it's all, it's, it's really sort of random. Um, but Nick and Nora was such a huge experience for yeah. me and such a fun movie to shoot. And I, that's another character. You know, Caroline and Katie <laughs> are two of my favorite characters. Yeah. Place. They're just so full of life and yeah. in very different ways. But, you know, it's like they could be they could be like cousins. Or something. Yeah. What about the wardrobe for this movie? I mean, you had some that's awesome so jumpsuits. I was uh, like, oh. I know, those jump. We had an incredible costume designer, Maya Lieberman. And the costumes were so important for this because it's sort of like, help tell the story and help our characters develop and yeah and like one of the things that like that Maya and, and Jamie like really decided was that like because this was her grandmother's apartment that like she would wear some of her grandmother's clothes and and like and and they sort of came up with like the that they share clothes and then we swap clothes which is such a girl friendship thing to yeah. do and Maya just really had this vision you know when she started off, she said I just I love to, to make girls cute and so it really just, you it know. It was like we were like Barbies. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just so fun, you know, in shooting this. Like never before have I ever had a, a costume fitting where it was like we only oh had God. fittings together. It would be like me, Lauren, uh, me, Lauren, Maya, Katie would come, mm -hmm. Jamie would come, mm -hmm. you know. And we would just be having like this girly fun time clothes. trying on clothes. Like, <laughs> that's sort of what making the movie yeah. was like. That's cool. Well, thank yeah. you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you.